whole group out of Jamaica. And listen, they all play instruments. I'm so happy. This is their first interview and I get to interview them right before their video shoot. Uh, they're going on it and you need to look out for the video. It is called Caliente Girls and Caliente Them Hot. If you don't know what the Caliente mean, it means hot. They're not hot, they're not bubble. So everybody, I'm going to try and get the name of the group pronounced correctly. Adaze. Did I get it? Yes. yes. Now, first of all, Adaze, what does that mean? Who came up with the name? And what? introduce yourselves. Oh, let me introduce them. First, from left to right, we have, let me tell you, Tara. And you you play which instrument? I play the lead guitar. All right. And we have Shevanese. You play the? Bass guitar. All right. Here, she drop our voice so much to be a <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Then we have Cadian. Woo! <laughs> You are? I am the lead vocalist. All right, and then we have Carissa. And I play the piano. All right, here are the she, she strokes the keys, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Tashana. Good job. All right. So, Adaze, how did y'all come up with that name? What does it mean? It means the king's daughters. It's an African name. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Who came up with the name? Well, it's a friend of the band. We were searching how long for a name and couldn't find a name. and. She just came and she said, look at this. And then, what's that? Perfect! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and hold on, you said, uh, you said we were searching. It sounds like you've been together for a little bit. How long ha has the group been together? About six or seven months. Officially. Wow. How officially. did you all meet though? Okay, um, I will tell you how they met me and then they will go about telling you how they met each other. I, I am a part of a society at the University of the West Indies Pop Society and we're having our lunch of a concert and they came and saw me performed and they like bomb rushed to me after the show. <laughs> and it was so adorable. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> so yeah, that's how they met. That's how long ago was me. that? This was in September of last year. Yes, in September of last year. No, September, October of last year. Okay. So, how did the rest of you meet? Well, um, I saw her on, on, on Smile Jamaica playing with the UTEP band. <laughs> and she came to my school, Edna Manley, and she was performing. Yeah. I was performing with Pure Meals. Right. Yeah, so oh, that yeah, would yeah. be kind of And that was the time I had my dream about having an all-female band. So when I saw her, and I saw her, and my sister, Shabani. So, so you're you're kind of like the glue. You brought yeah. everything together. She's a glue. She's so, so that's how she's the band leader. Ah. <laughs> ah oh, you have officially appointed the band leader. <laughs> no, you know what? I, what I what I want to ask you though, Miss Band Leader, why? How long? Have you been having this dream about forming an all-female band? Since I was in prep school. That's not so long ago because you're very young still. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about 12 years ago. But um Why an all-female band? Because, well, in Jamaica we don't have many female musicians. So we don't have many female bands here. I think Girl Sound started in the 1990s. 1990, 1990, yeah, 1990, yeah, 1990, right. Yeah. Um, and uh, mostly when you go to a live show, you only see men on the stage, right? And we as females, we have some female musicians at Edna, and I know a lot of female musicians. So I just wanted to start this female band to probably inspire other women to start as well. Mm -hmm. sure. So you've been <coughs> together like about six months now. Um, you must have so far had some conflicts or some interesting battles oh yes what? so far oh yes we have but but you haven't yet hit the road so it's, it's a good opportunity to work out some of the kinks yeah, before right. you actually mm -hmm. right. hit the road how do you handle the various personalities amongst yourselves well we had a lot of bonding time together so we got to understand okay. understand each other <coughs> so what not to say what, right what to say yeah. and so when we have a conflict, we let it cool off, yes. let the person do whatever they want to do, and then after we discuss what yeah. happened and it's not yeah. cool off again. And also, <laughs> also to get a better understanding of each other, we 
you know, we try to get a little bit of um, background information on each other yeah. to help to better understand why we are the way we are. Mm -hmm. And that has definitely helped us to be able to manage ourselves better, mm -hmm. cling better True. as a, you know, a group. A group. Uh, yeah. You talk about being a group. When you have an individual artist, um, a lot of times they have a lot of creative input. Now we have five personalities that will have to project as one. How is the creative process when you're coming up with a rhythm idea, a sound, or a song? So you walk us through that entire process. Because it's no longer an individual. It's five different persons that have to come up with something creative. Well, what we normally do, um, we'll have our own individual ideas at first. And then we have like a, a jam session. A jam session. And we come together and we just vibe each of every bit of thing that each person brings to the table. So if Tash brings a drum thingy, we vibe something from that. And we develop on it. Yeah. 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 So that's pretty much how we do. You know what I want to ask you because oftentimes a lot of persons will be looking on other entertainers and they can critique them. Lad, look for her, look for him. Why are they not doing that? Ugh. Come off my TV, get off the stage. <laughs> or you go to a concert and you stand there, you look at them like, at this, I spend my money for. I want to dash a buckle for you. What are you doing to ensure that when Adaza hits the stage or they go on a television, people will say, Wow, I need those girls on my show. I need to interview them. I need to meet them. What is Alizé doing behind the scenes now before launching out to ensure that those same criticisms that you would have had before you became artists, a lot of people won't have them of you? Okay, well, one of the first things that we definitely do is to watch some of the best performers, right? Performers like Beyonce, and um, Chronix, he's a very good performer as well. Yeah. Shereen Anderson is a really strong Jamaican performer. So what we do, we watch those performances. We try to um, do something. We try to tweak it a little bit in our own little way to get something great. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much how we go about doing it. And we find other ways of inspiring ourselves. You know, we do the whole mirror thing and all of that to make sure that we look proper. And we always ask ourselves, <laughs> would we pay to see all the speech? Yeah, we pay we to always see ask ourselves. Yep. Always so when we're performing or when we're rehearsing, we'll ask ourselves, would we pay to see something like this? Yes. Or pay to hear something like this? What would I want to hear? And we're pretty much perfectionists as well. We don't, we don't just stop at something. We always just keep going over and over well, stuff to make sure, sure that we we'll make sure that everything. everything. You know yeah. what, I'm noticing that kid and, and Carissa. <laughs> I don't even know if the kid is like an AK or whatever. Just a shooter. But the answer everything. <laughs> and everybody is chiming, yes. <laughs> so I'm not going to allow Katie and, and Carissa to speak <laughs> just yet. I want I want Shevanese and Tara as well as Tashana to speak up. Listen to me. I'm going to start with Tashana. No problem. What is it like working with these girls? Talk the truth. They can't do you nothing. They cannot do anything right now. I'm here for your defense. All right. First of all, I am easy to get along with. I get along with practically anybody. So with them, they are basically considered my sisters. You have to live with them. And you just love them as they are and accept them as they are. And just Because living with them, working with them, is going to be a future thing. And you can't accept everybody in the society. You can't beat on everybody. So you just have to go through with them and they're lovable people. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see you have anyone? <laughs> Tara, uh, uh, um, a typical day with them. What is it like? Talk the truth! Woo! Talk it! Are you know it's Glenn Grew? <laughs> um, uh, for me, to me, um, I look forward to rehearsals. Honestly, because even if I'm having a bad day, I know that rehearsal will change it because first and foremost, my my balita jokes for kill. Oh Jesus! Jokes for kill. I'm a no never laugh. And I got us. I 
and everybody has cut this <coughs> and how we talk and how we rap and the things that we talk about. So it took, for me, it's really fun. Honestly, it's fun. Literally fun. I didn't never really have a bad day with us anytime at all. It always changed up. If it starts true, it does. It, we're all exactly. yes. gone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. True. <laughs> you know, I'm getting to you, right, Chevrolet? Yeah. Because you're going to get away? <laughs> no! Caliente Girls. I got this song in my box and your manager said, Sparks, I know you have 10 million songs to listen to. Uh, first of all, he said you're a professional president that I was impressed with. So that grabbed my attention. His approach mm -hmm. was professional. That made me want to listen. And you're all female. Even more, yeah. more of a, a grabber for me. Um, he said, listen to this and tell me what you think. So I, I, I always listen with an open mind. And I said, whoa. Let that sound good. Have a vibe. And I looked at y'all and I said, you know what? They don't look like what I thought they would look <coughs> like because everybody is into wanting to be skinny. Well, y'all look different. And y'all bring a different kind of energy. You all play different <coughs> instruments. Um, and you're Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, I was very impressed. Caliente Girls, talk to us about how you decided as that being your first song out. Well, Caliente Girls, uh, we we like to we wanted to describe ourselves and to let people know who we really are, right? Meaning we are hot, and we wanted <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it means, hot. <laughs> so we wanted to actually come up with this song and just that truly represents re represents the band, the whole band. So we just. You know, we're going to want a song to represent other females as well. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, it, it has a very inspiring, um, liberating kind of feel. Kind of like Alison Hines wrote it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa, uh, you yes, know, it's kind of empowering, <laughs> but without being lewd. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I hear the ladies complain about that, that the songs for the women are just a little bit too lewd and they don't they all they don't always want to hear that they want to hear something that they can dance to that they can sing along to and feel happy about but what i haven't yet asked you is what kind of group would you say that others is? i know that the two kids one of them were shooting no <laughs> no one of them are going to no, shoot on loud no, you, yeah. can't, you can't say you can't say you can't say i'm giving it to you you can't take this one okay what kind of group we are? All right, so um, we're not your average group. We're definitely going to be bringing variety to the table in terms of music because we're doing a fusion yeah. of like pop, pop reggae, dance, dance all, and reggae. Mm -hmm. And we're very spontaneous. We're a very spontaneous group. So very. anything we're supposed to, if we can jump into some Spanish, kick in some French, we'll do that. Um, so yeah, the, uh, and we're very fun, and we're very exciting, and we really just hope to, you know, give off all that positive energy to the people all across the world. So that's the kind of people that we are. All right. Now, I know that you're about to go into your video shoot. Let me not keep you too long. Tell me, who is, who is directing the video? They don't want to give away anything. All right, keep the secret to yourself. We might find it with you. But before, before I let you all go, I want each of you to just tell me your philosophy in life. Let us start with Tara. What's your philosophy in life? What guides you? Um, uh, for me, it's, um, well, overall, it's the determination. Because everybody wants to be successful, <laughs> but I want to be successful. Because I always want to see myself really high. And I'm able to, so people can look up to the things I do and can even learn from it. You know, to be a motivation to people overall. Okay. Chevenise? Um, just be yourself. Just be you. Oh, that's beautiful. That's very profound. Not a lot of right, persons nice. actually live up to that. Kadian? Hmm, my philosophy in life is. Just to be great in every possible way. And when I say every possible, I mean every possible 
Thank you, ladies, and all so, the best. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Just, just big up sparkybaby.com right now. Give them, the, give them a line out of the Calienta girls. <laughs> and big up sparkybaby.com. Alrighty. Yeah. Calienta girls, March the 4th. Let them know we in the Calienta girls.